Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inkis and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we are going to be starting a, a journey, I would say the journey, uh, so, uh, we'll call it a, a set of videos of how to get your heating system uh, set up uh, with a, uh, a Siemens uh, 1500 series PLC and it can be done, it will be actually exactly the same thing for 1200 series PLCs, it really doesn't matter, basically we're going to be using the PID controls, but before we can start using PID controls, we need uh, several things to be done because this Mr. Grumpy wants his cup of tea or coffee, depending on what time of day it is, just the way he likes it, more specifically 80 degrees. So what we are going to be doing so that Mr. Grumpy down there gets his uh, cup of tea or cup of coffee just the way he likes it, we need a uh, quite a, uh, a protest, uh, quite a um, um, uh, precise process control. So for that we're going to need several items. So we're going to be using uh, this heater which is a 230 volt heater. This is just a basic, basic, very basic olden days. Those who remember, remember. Uh, basic heater. We are going to be using a, a solid state relay. This is manufactured by Crydon. There's going to be a separate video on that. We're going to talk about solid state relays. We are going to need a uh, PT100 uh, temperature probe. This is the one we're going to be starting the video on. We're going to be wiring this guy in, into our uh, PLC. We are also going to use, uh, let me just swap the cameras. So, analog input, digital output, and we're also going to be having our HMI, where most of our controls will be uh, controlled from. So, that's what we are going to be doing. There will be a series of videos. I will go from one step to another, obviously, and, 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 uh, in, in between with these. We're going to need a technology block called PID, which is within uh, Siemens, uh, Siemens TI portal, which uh, specific and more specific, we're going to be using a PID temperature. And we're going to be going through uh, how to tune it, how to set it up, and how to pretty much get you going. So this, Mr. Grumpy, get his cup of tea or coffee just the way he likes. So, yeah, that's what we started to do. Without further ado, let's jump on and, and uh, on how to set up our RTD and uh, how to wire it and everything. So yeah, that's what we do now. Let's get started. So, to get ourselves started, so we're going to be using a this analog card, which is a 7KF00, most commonly used analog card, because pretty much that card can handle almost all the signal out there, so that's a pretty, pretty good plus. So, uh, we're going to be using a 3-wire thermocouple, which is a 3-wire, uh, so we have two blues and one red, which is a standard PT1, uh, PT100 uh, term thermocouple, so it's for a standard range. I can't remember what exact the range was. I think it was minus 40 to something, 100 and something. I can't remember. So, uh, three wire. So we need to have a look at how do we wire it. So as you can see in, in here, it sort of Siemens has put like a basic explanation how the RTD would be wired. As you can see in here, it's uh, using two channels. And uh, one end would go, uh, one end would go to so 15 and uh, as you can see into 11. That would be the, more or less for the four wire one. This wire in here is set for the four wire RTD. We are using three wires, so this really we need to have a look at it in manual what that uh, how the, how Siemens wants to do the three wire. And here we go. So this manual is going to be in the description below, guys. So do uh, check it out. So if you're looking for your type of wiring, so and ours is going to be three wire, and this is uh, pretty much this this setup in here. And as you can see in here, we are obviously we're going to be using the channel one for it, ch so channel zero, sorry. So. So you can see in here the output in here, which is like two cables coming out from the from the actual RTD, which is in our case you can see two blue ones. It's gonna go uh, 16 and 11. In our case, that's gonna be eight and a four. We're gonna be using wiring that in a minute in here. And then also there's a, there's a one cable which is our red one. On this one in here, it's coming out and it's going to the 14. But as you can see, the 14 needs to be linked out with 10. So in our case, we're gonna be linking out a, a seven with a three. So uh, that's the pretty much how we are going to uh, wire this in. So uh, again, there is going to be a uh, manual in the description below if you're looking for your type of probe wiring. So the blue ones, so it's going to be 16. So in our case, it's going to be 8. So 8 is one above. So here we go. So blue one in here. That's that. 
And then we're going to go and put that in uh, a four. That one, ooh, just get in there. Then I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So let's put that in there. So the red one, which is going to be an R7. And uh, also we need to put a bridger. So bridging cable into it. So here we go. So let's put that in there. There. So, and let's secure it. So hopefully that catches properly. Does it go in all right? Go in? No, it didn't go in all right. Didn't push that enough. It's quite difficult to just get in there. Here we go. So let's do that. And that will go in a two, three. And here we go, guys. So that's pretty much how we are going to be wiring in our RTD. So this temperature three wire, temperature RTD, temperature probe. So, uh, okay, recap, which is going to be our uh, eight and a four, which is, uh, which, is this, uh, which is this guy in here, and 15 and 10, which is going to be our seven and a uh, three so that's done so all we need to do now is go into the a laptop and configure it all right here we go so uh let's uh, jump on the plc so let's configure the channel so as you can see the plc is on and my channel one as you can see is lit so we're gonna need to turn that off i'll show you what happens if you don't so uh, let's move this along like that so let's go on to the rtd on our card in here double click it so I go into channel zero. So let's remove that. We no longer need that. So not man, we leave it a manual. Yes. So let's go down and change that one to uh, three wire resistor. No, not three wire resistor. Three wire thermal resistor. Three wire. Here we go. And as you can see in the X, quickly jumped up as a PT100 uh, range. Remember, this card can process a four PT100 probes. And if you go try to go into channel one, that one's automatically already be configured not to be able to accept. As you can see, it won't be even on a list. As you can see in here. So uh, having done that, as you can see in here, when you try to compile it, so, which is quite good, Siemens done that. So uh, without people trying to guess at what's going on, if you're trying to compile it, it will tell you. That there's a problem as you can see in here it says in here that the term uh, the measuring type in channel zero is configured as resistance so manual so channel one should be deactivated so let's just let's just get that one done so it'll tell you that you need to do that so be able to do what you're trying to do so i haven't done that so let's go into here and deactivate this oh come on deactivate so that's gone so the next thing we're going to need to do, let's create a tag so, so we can read the values, all right? So let's go in the split screen. And uh, do, 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 do. Ooh, 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 ooh. don't run. So let's grab that. So here we are. Just drag it in here. And let's call it a, a uh, PT100. We're going to be using that in the later videos. We need this for our, PT, for our PID setups. So I'm just going to call that in. So not capital in, in, let's do that. Yeah, I'll do. So it's a uh, the integer and, and as you can see, the address is right down there. So I haven't done that. So we are pretty much ready to load that in. So uh, let's focus on our PLC and get it pumped in. And you will see in a minute, I'm sure you can see in the corner, if you really pay attention at the uh, one is gonna go down in a minute. So it should technically turn himself off. Is it off? Yes, it is. So the channel is more or less ready. So let's go and uh, take the split screen down and go on to our tag table. So and what we're going to do in here, let's go Mr. Watchy Man. And as you can see in here, at the moment, it is showing us it is a 232. As, as soon as you set up, was that? Uh, let's do that and that. As soon as you set up your RTD uh, for to, so the controller needs to needs to process the uh, input from RTD for a temper temper couple. It already it tries to match for the uh, match the, the match the digits. What it, what is outputting the integer is outputting is close to the actual temperature. Which in our case, if you see in here, which is two uh, two hundred and thirty two, which is twenty three point two degrees. And this is roughly looks like my uh, my place has warmed up quite a bit so now and, and as you can see in here let me just do that just put the hand onto the uh, thermocouple 
and as you can see the digits are starting to rise so uh, we're gonna need to uh, play with this in the future for the PID but for now that ladies and gentlemen is how we get our RTD uh, temper couple going and remember there is uh, where is that it's uh, I have, uh, the actual um, uh, TC thermal couples can be used and things like that as well. So do check out the manual. I will leave the manual in the description below. If you are using a TC thermal couple, have a look at it, how to uh, 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 program it and, and how to get yourselves going. So it's fairly easy. I think uh, once you get your head around it, it's pretty good. We already covered all the all the basics of the card as well in the past. So do check out the previous videos for in a S7 1500 series playlist, guys. We've done a lot of work already on this. So there's lots of videos out there. So I'm not going to repeat too much of myself. That will do for this video. In the next video, we're going to be check, uh, jumping on to explain how the solid state relays work so we can get ourselves ready to start playing with that PID controls. So, yes, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you do like what we're doing here and do subscribe if you're new to the channel. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next video.